when I'm working, I really just use... My phone can just not leave me alone. My laundry's done. <laughs> Hello everybody, my name is Jenny Ernst and I vlog weekly about my life as a reserve flight attendant. If you are new here, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. Today I'm going to talk about what is in my travel makeup bag when I am on a trip. So when I'm working, this is all the stuff that I bring with me. I pack a little bit more for work trips than I would just going to visit my parents or friends or my boyfriend just because I like to have options and depending on how my skin is behaving in different climates, I apply things like my foundation and whatnot with different applicators. This is my makeup bag and it is not in the best shape. I think I just got it at Target but it's like ripping here and it's super dirty and it's been beat up pretty good. I definitely need a new one. But this is going to take a little while, so I'm going to get started. A lot of my days are fairly long most of the time. They're usually anywhere from 6 to 12 hours. Uh, sometimes they're pretty short, in which case I will not use a primer because why waste it if I'm not going to be flying all day. But for those long days, I, there's a hair. <laughs> for the longer days, I definitely use a primer. I use the Smash, Smash Box, <laughs> Smash Box Photo Finish Foundation Primer. I just use the original oil-free one. The foundation that I use is also Smashbox. It's Studio Skin 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. I love it. It does not feel like I am wearing anything. It lasts all freaking day. The concealers that I use uh, for under eyes, I am a recent believer or converter or whatever, what have you in the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Eraser. This blew up and I feel like all beauty people, which I'm not a beauty person by any means, if you can't tell by how I'm describing all this stuff, but I love this so much. I just use this for my under eyes to brighten up the area. To cover my blemishes, which are a plenty right now, I use Smashbox High Definition Concealer in the shade Light. This is another recent purchase and recent fell in love the first time I used it because it actually hides my blemishes uh, versus other concealers that I've tried that just kind of tone them down a little bit but they're not actually hidden. This completely hides it, makes it match the rest of my skin. Obviously it can't hide the bump itself, but it hides the redness, which is amazing. Then I will finish everything off with a pressed powder or a loose powder, but lately I've been on a... <laughs> my roommate's dog is barking. Lately I've been on a pressed powder kick. This is L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable Powder. It's not actually a finishing powder, but it is in my shade. I find that finishing powders kind of, like if they're translucent or whatever, they kind of um, wash me out a little bit. They just don't make my face match the rest of my body, which is drives me crazy and makes me really self-conscious about it. For bronzer, this is actually my summer bronzer. I've just been too lazy to go get a different one. And this is the NYX Matte Bronzer in Medium. It's kind fairly dark because it's the winter, and I am more fair, not fair skinned, but I'm not as tan as I am in the summer. I use a really, really, really light hand with this, otherwise it goes on super orange. To fill in my brows, I just use, again, this is NYX and it's just the eyebrow palette. I use the blonde palette, but I use the darker brown. My eyeshadow palette that I bring with me on trips is Rimmel London, and it's just one of the quad shadows. This is in Sun Safari and it's just got a couple pretty colors. Um, a nice white that I put in the corner of my eyes and just under my brow. When I'm working I mostly just cover my entire lid in the gold and it's not super super pigmented. It just adds a nice subtle gold shimmer to your eyelid. By the way, how I have my face now is pretty much how I do it, not pretty much, it is how I do it for work. Sometimes I'll do the eyeliner, sometimes I won't. 
Sometimes I'll put lipstick on, sometimes I won't. Eyeliner, I use a liquid liner. This is the L'Oreal Infallible Super Slim liquid eyeliner and so easy to use. I mean, it's just, you just go over and that, yeah. Mascara that I use is Maybelline The Falsies Volume Express. Just my go-to. I get it in the darkest color possible. I just love this. I also really like Tarte's Amazonian clay mascara, whatever. It comes in like a bamboo tube. Um, I really like that one too, but I'm on a budget right now, so drugstore mascara it is. For my lips, if I do decide to wear a lipstick, because I have a couple different color lipsticks, I just have a transparent or universal lip liner and this is just Rimmel London. I fill in my entire lip and then I put lipstick on. The lipstick shades that I travel with for work are your just a couple pinky and red shades. The red shade that I have is the Lasting Finish by Kate uh, with, uh, it's Rimmel London and then it's just like the Kate Moss collection and this is 01 and it's just a the tube looks darker than what it really is if you look at my video about flight attendant terminology I wear this at the end and it comes across really bright on the camera so it's like a mix between how dark it looks here and how bright it looks on in that video it's really just a nice basic red the pink well not pink pink it's it's the pink that is my lip color but better it's basically my lip color except it makes them a little more pink is also the Kate Moss line for Rimmel London and this is in 17 and as you can see it's just kind of a nice pinky nude if my lips are needing some hydration I will avoid the lipsticks because it just tends to dry them out. These ones aren't too bad about drying them out, to be honest, um, and they do last a really long time, but personal preference, I don't really like to wear lipstick when my lips are already chapped, so I will opt for this Revlon Colorburst Lip Butter, and this is shade 25 Peach Parfait. Again, this is just kind of my lip color, but better, and a little bit darker with some shimmer to it. My battery was about to die, so I had to charge that. Now I'm back. And if things are a little bit different, I'm sorry. I might have my hair up in a clip, so that's different. We're just gonna roll with it. So I finished all of the makeup products that I bring with me, and now I'm going to talk about the brushes and everything else that I stash on the other side. Um, so I have all my makeup on this side and everything else goes on this side. First we have foundation applicators. This is the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I love this brush. I used to use the Bare Minerals um, like full coverage brush and I do like that one but for liquid foundation I much prefer this for as far as brushes go. It's fairly inexpensive and it does provide really good full coverage. Uh, I use it in a stippling motion, so I just kind of pat it on because I find that it works better than swirling it around, but that's just my personal preference and how it works with my skin and foundation. I also really like to use this. This is also Real Techniques. It's just like a beauty blender only. It's Real Techniques instead because I have yet to find the beauty blender in stores. I figured that until I order it online, this is a good replacement. And I actually really like it. I find that it does work better. You can use it dry or damp. I find that it does work better if I run it over water for a split second just to dampen it a tiny bit. I like this one in particularly because it's kind of a two-in-one. So as you can see, I'll use this side for my full face and then I'll use the little tip to put concealer on my blemishes. For the pressed powder, I like one of two. I don't really have a preference which one I like more, but I just kind of alternate between the ELF Eyes Lips Face Kabuki Face Brush. 
this is supposed to give you that like airbrushed look. I, again, I like to pat it on just because it is kind of a thicker brush. Like it's big and it's fluffy, but it's a little bit thicker. So I find that sometimes it will move around the foundation. Or I will use the Bare Minerals Flawless Face really for the, your pressed or finishing or whatever powder, just the powder that you put over your foundation, just any big fluffy blush, blush brush will work. This is again ELF, it's the small angled brush. I use this for my eyebrows. For eyeshadow, because I do such a minimal eyeshadow, I only have two brushes. This one is ELF and I think it's it's the smudge brush. Um, it's just a small little brush and this is what I use to put the lighter color shadow in my inner eye and just under my brow. I'm not sure if I'm, I mean I know I'm not using it right but it works for me. And for the gold shadow just that I put all over my lid, this is Bare Essentials Full Tapered Shadow. It's just your basic um, eyeshadow brush. What else do I have in here? Nail clippers, tweezers. Some hotels have phenomenal lighting, so I always bring my tweezers because then I can do the hairs that don't show up in my lighting. Hair tie, clip, bobby pins, eyelash curler, a safety pin, and my perfume, which is Victoria's Secret Gondolas. And it's just a little roller ball. These are perfect for traveling, they don't take up a lot of space, and they are security appropriate. That is everything that I bring with me as far as makeup goes. I'm not like a makeup expert by any means, but this does give you a better idea as to how I make this happen when I go to work. I hope you all enjoyed this video and that it helped you out. Guys, probably not so much. Girls, if it did help you, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you are not already subscribed. That way you know every time I put out a new video, vlogs come out every Monday and videos like this, I shoot for every other Thursday. Leave any questions or comments down below. All of my social media links are also down below, so follow me there. I am starting to use Twitter a little bit more to kind of give you guys a heads up of uh, when videos are posting, if there's any sort of delay for whatever reason, if my schedule is messing everything up is in regards to YouTube. Uh, so make sure that you follow me there. And I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all Monday in my vlog. Bye! I don't get in until 1.30 in the morning, Monday. Uh, yeah, saw that and it clicked as to why nobody else really bid for it. I did look though, 